Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Far Above Rubies. As we continue this month's walk through our topical study of prayer, the Word of God, belonging to the body of Christ, and servant leadership, we are again today digging into the topic of servant leadership. We're talking again about practical application, but this time, practical application in the world around us, okay? You have two short reading challenges for today, and they are John chapter 13, verse 35, and Luke chapter 6, verses 32 and 33. We're going to read these together. John chapter 13, verse 35 says this, By this will all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Luke chapter 6, verses 32 and 33 says this, If you love only those who love you, what reward do you have? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good only to those who do good to you, what grace do you have for even sinners do the same? So how are we to bo supposed to be Christian servant leaders in the secular world around us? And here's my answer to you today. By letting the love of Jesus flow through us in all things. A couple of decades ago now at this point, the question was asked over and over again until we were sick of hearing the question, what would Jesus do? It was in every household. It was on bracelets and bumper stickers and anything you can imagine. What would Jesus do? And it might be cheesy, but it is the right answer of how do we be a Christian servant leader in a secular world? What would Jesus do? We behave as Jesus behaved. We treat people like Jesus treated people. We let the love of Jesus flow through us in all things. So here's the short and sweet of it. Here is the, where the rubber meets the road. If you are gossiping, talking about people behind their backs, if you are retaliating for every wrongdoing that has been done against you, if you are manipulating people or situations for your favor, for your pleasure, for your revenge, if you are vying for self-interest above team interest, if you are putting people down and slandering their name, if you are simply grumpy and unpleasant in the work environment, the school environment, in any secular environment, if you are jealous of other people's good fortune, if you are arrogant or holier than thou in any situation, you are not being a godly servant leader. Whether that's at work, at school, college campus, PTA, play group, supermarket run, anywhere you can possibly imagine and count as a secular place in this world, if you are doing any of those things, if you are doing anything that Jesus Christ himself would not be doing or would not approve of you doing, would not be shining through you to do, you are not being a godly servant leader. Those are harsh words, but they are the truth. We want to be godly servant leaders in the world around us. And this is a very simple talk that we're having today. What does being a servant leader, a Christian servant leader, a godly servant leader look like in a secular world? It looks like putting others first. It looks like building others up when you're expected to tear them down. It looks like covering people and protecting their reputation as long as you are doing so within the reasons of honesty and a pro a propriety. It looks like exhibiting the fruit of God's spirit in your workplace or your school campus. It looks like loving and serving others without the expectation of being loved or served in return because if you're in a secular situation, that's not very likely to be the response all the time. It might be the response some of the time, but it not is not going to be the response all of the time. Love and serve others without measuring their past performance to deem worthiness, to see if they are worthy of being loved or worthy of being served. They spoke harshly to me or about me last week, so they don't deserve my love and my service this week. That's not what servant leadership looks like. If you want to reach the world around you, you have to behave differently than the world around you as a Christian, godly servant leader. 
It's a very simple thought, but I hope you'll go and read John chapter 13, verse 35, Luke chapter 6, verse 32 and 33, and answer those questions for yourself. What would Jesus do? Am I serving from a place of selflessness in the secular world around me? Am I a godly Christian servant leader in those environments? If no one has told you lately, you are loved and you are cherished and you are valuable. You have beautiful and tremendous worth, my sweet friend, and that worth is far above rubies. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I will see you all again very soon. God bless you.